welcome everybody to Camp Sunnyside. Thank you so much for being here this morning and celebrating the dedication of our brick garden this morning. Uh, I'm Allison Piazza. I'm the Chief Development Officer here at Easter Seals, Iowa. We're thrilled to have this event in person and we're really honored that you are spending your morning with us. The success of our mission happens because of our donors, our team members, and our families who partner to dream big, work hard today, and see the possibilities of the future. Today is a day we honor those who have supported our success while also memorializing clients and friends we have lost over the past two years. It's hard to miss. We've made a lot of changes out here at camp. Uh, this building back here when you first walked in is our Independence Innovation Center. Uh, it, it, we, uh, it's a place where all of our team members are able to come together in a welcoming environment to collaborate and find solutions for our families and our clients. We moved into this space in January of 2020, and it provided a wonderful opportunity for our team members to be able to work together and collaborate while also social distancing. Uh, the building right behind me that used to be our main office building has been transformed into a teen day center. This space was um, instrumental in being able to rise up and meet the community's needs over the past year during COVID. We were able to use this space to provide school-age programming while students were either in a virtual learning environment or a hybrid learning environment. The, the students were able to come here. They logged in with their laptops and were able to do their school here. We fed them lunch. They stayed for the day. And their parents were able to go to work and know that their children were well cared for. Because not everybody had the luxury to work from home. We recently con finished construction our emer on our emergency respite house. It's the blue building, the blue house that you'll see back down there. Um, we don't even have the furniture yet, so it's, it, we literally just put the trim on. We're going to be able to provide temporary housing for clients in crisis situations while they get back on their feet with that house. You'll also see some uh, construction starting over here, the, the development happening with the land over there. Um, we're very excited this fall Hubble will do their fifth extreme build for us. It's going to be a new child development center. Um, and it's going to happen in one week in September, September 10th through 17th. This space will allow us to double the number of children we're able to serve from 60 to 120. So we're thrilled, very excited about that. Um, and of course, we're thankful to all of you for supporting our mission and, and making all of this possible to be able to serve people in Iowa with disabilities. You are all here because you believe in the mission of Easter Seals, Iowa. You understand why independence in the community is so important and the entire family is supported when your loved ones are in our programming. Thank you for choosing to recognize your family, loved one, or business at this very special place. So many parents have told us this place gives them hope. Here, their child can be themselves. Here, they accomplish goals and dreams they didn't think were possible. It is only because of our community supporters that we're able to respond to the needs of individuals with disabilities in our Iowa communities. And it is only through the trust of our parents and guardians that we are able to help their loved ones live their life to the fullest. The bricks in this garden support the Easter Seals Iowa Foundation, which ensures that Easter Seals Iowa will continue to provide exceptional services to Iowans with disabilities well into the future. The Brick Garden is also about, it is plan, is about planning for a stable future and also about celebrating our families. No one can tell you better how important Easter Seals Iowa and Camp Sunnyside services are better than the families that we serve. I'd like to invite Christy Luthold up to share what camp means to her daughter Katrina and to their family. Thank you, Allison. As Allison said, my name is Christy Luthold, and it is an honor to be with you this morning at this ceremony to pay tribute to Easter Seals and to share my personal experience how Easter Seals has impacted my family and my daughter, Katrina. Katrina began attending Respite Weekend, April 2017. The first weekend is a vivid memory. I pulled up into the parking lot 
with way too many bags of luggage. My daughter does not know the, the concept of right packing. We proceeded to go to the girls' camp or to the cabin. We followed all the check-in procedures, and then it was time to say goodbye. Katrina gave me a bear hug like no other, and my daughter knows how to give hugs. I looked at Katrina, reassured her, told her that I loved her, and said, you are going to have fun. Well, I don't need to remind my daughter that she is having fun at respite because she has every weekend marked on her calendar that, so that I know when her respite weekend will be. And she knows all the themes of the weekend respites. It's also really, really heartwarming after respite weekend, she comes home and she has such amazing stories of the kiddos, the counselors, and all the activities that she has participated in. It is wonderful knowing that she has been able to make peer connections, which has built her self-confidence. And from a parent's perspective, Respite is critical to families, which allows us to recharge so we can meet our children where they need to be met. My first glimpse of my daughter was through a picture that was sent from our adoption agency from a village 6,000 miles away. A picture, a brief, a brief health history, and I was on that plane to Moscow. Getting to Moscow was easy, but the overnight train, not so much. It was pretty chaotic, but you know what? I had so much joy and so much anticipation in meeting my daughter. I went to the orphanage, and there was Katrina, her thumb in her mouth, and her hazel eyes pierced my heart. It was a life-changing moment. I knew that she would become my daughter. Two trips within three months, and on July 13th, 2004, Katrina landed in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I introduced Katrina as my daughter to my extended family. Fast forward 17 years, and Katrina is a vibrant, handful teenager who watches way too many YouTube videos, who likes to hang out with friends, and has landed a part-time job. As a mother and one who believes that a village is needed to raise a child, my personal experience is that Easter Seals has provided a place where Katrina feels accepted and where she has built friendships. Her life is enriched. Katrina's path will be different due to her intellectual disabilities. That is where sometimes people looking from the outside do not understand that the Katrinas of the world have the potential to change lives and make a difference just as everyone else. It's heartwarming to hear the stories that Katrina shares about other kids at Easter Seals and how she appreciates them as individuals. When Easter Seals asked me to speak, I had no hesitation because this organization has made such a profound impact on my family. I want to thank everyone involved with Easter Seals, who has compassion to serve others, who require extra care. Each of you is making a difference in the lives of our children and in the community in which we live. Now, it is pretty cool that when I asked Katrina what her message she wanted to convey on her stone would be, her response was, camp is my happy place. Thank you.
Thank you, Christy. Um, what she didn't tell you all is that Katrina is a counselor in training at camp and taking on a leadership role. And before all of you arrived, Katrina and sweet Stella um, spent a little bit of time together because they know each other. And uh, Katrina just took her off for a little walk and they spent some time together. And um, it, was, it was very, very sweet to see. And we love seeing your leadership abilities grow and progress. Thank you, Katrina. Um, so now I'd like to invite Amy Meyer up to share about their experience um, for their daughter, Sella, and what camp has meant for them and their family. Good morning. It's an honor to be here today. My name is Amy Meyer, and I'm here with my daughter, Stella, and her dad, Nick. Living in the Des Moines area most of my life, I'd always been aware of Easter Seals and often heard great things about the facility here. I never could have imagined how much of an impact this wonderful place would have. Stella was born in November of 2013. I had a fantastic pregnancy, no issues, and was over the moon happy to be a mama. She was born two weeks early after two days in labor, stubborn, <laughs> beautiful, healthy, and with an extra copy of her 21st chromosome. We were shocked, stunned, and quite lost. Luckily, we had this precious little human to keep us moving. She needed us, and we fell in love with her immediately. We researched, learned, and worried. We received lots of information about resources, but mostly spent our time navigating the work of being her parents. We were so grateful for her overall health, but so unsure of what she would need from us. Fast forward a few years, I met Allison Piazza at a women's fundraising group in the fall of 2018, just before Stella's fifth birthday. Allison was speaking to the group about Easter Seals and the special needs programming they offer at their facility. We chatted after the meeting and I shared a bit about Stella and what we were experiencing with her at the time. She encouraged me to reach out about the weekend respite camps offered here. We were beginning to struggle with sleep, transitional and behavioral issues with Stella. I was exhausted, frustrated and pretty defeated. I also didn't want to admit to myself or anyone else that I needed a break. Here I had this amazing, wonderful, healthy daughter. How dare I need a break? <laughs> But I needed a break. We needed a break. A break from the high level of care, hypervigilance, and exhaustion that sometimes comes with being the parents of a child with special needs. We set up a tour of the facility and met some of the staff and counselors. We were immediately impressed and thrilled at the idea that Stella would have a safe, caring, supportive, and fun environment in the form of weekend respite camps. Stella attended her first camp in January that next year. I remember being anxious, nervous, and spending over an hour packing a bag for just that one day. <laughs> the staff could not have been more amazing, reassuring, and helpful. Stella was scared, and I and did not want to let go of my hand. They all assured me she would be in great hands, so I let her go and cried all the way home. <laughs> Uh, I don't really recall what I did that first day that she attended camp, but I do remember feeling like I absolutely could not wait to pick her up, and I still feel this way today. We picked her up that evening. She was all smiles. The staff reported that she was quite shy and needed lots of one-on-one -on -one attention, but overall had a great day. She wanted no part of swimming in their amazing indoor pool, but did participate in a dance party that afternoon. We continued to bring her for the weekend sessions, and she began getting very excited when we would tell her it was a camp weekend. Stella is now seven and attending most all respite camp weekends, and even spending the night on Saturday nights, sleepovers as she calls them. Our once shy, defiant little girl is now saying yes to all the fun things camp has to offer. Once terrified of any kind of water, Stella can't wait to swim here now. Horseback riding was also once an absolute no, but as of last summer, she is all smiles riding the horse here at camp. She's also made great friends here. Her interactions with other campers and staff have helped her grow in so many ways. She knows the routine, she knows she's gonna have fun, and she knows she is supported and loved. Her confidence has skyrocketed, and our once timid little girl checks in toting her own suitcase excited and waving hello to everyone she passes. 
These camps have also given us some time as her parents to rest, recharge, and focus on other aspects of our lives. We still don't know quite what to do with ourselves sometimes while she's at camp, but the simple things like errands, meals out, or movies without being concerned about her care have been a godsend. We know she's safe, loved, and having the absolute best time here. We also now know that we needed this time as well. We could not be more thankful for this amazing place. It has truly changed all of our lives. Thank you for everyone here, for all that you pour into our girl and everyone. You have our support and gratitude forever. Thank you. Thank you, Amy, for, for sharing your story. And most of all, thank you for sharing Stella with us. She's just a joy and an angel, and um, we love having her here. Thank you, Stella, for being here. <laughs> All right, at Easter Seals, Iowa, we have the great privilege of serving our clients and our families throughout their lives. We share their highs and their lows, their joys and their sorrows. One team member described it as doing life together. We also have many team members and community members who have a special relationship with Easter Seals, Iowa, and also memorialized a loved one in, in our brick garden. At this time, I would like to read the names of those being memorialized in the Brick Garden from this year and last and recognize them with a moment of silence. Michael Baker, Barney and Doris Barnhill, John Beatty Jr., Mouse Brown, George Christofferson, Jonathan Dooley Wynn, Angie Fields, Ina Gatz, Greg Gnapp, Gary Harkin, Mark Hyden, Sandra Hicks, Philip Hintz, Janice. Jacobs, Tom Yoakum, Max Nauer III, Ivan Knoll, Dennis Knudsen, Warren Cook, Coke, I'm sorry, Cook, Stephen Long, Patty. Mathern, Anna Mayer, James Michael Mayer, Ralph Mazzy, Beth Meeson, Randy Mickle, Bill Miller, Lawrence Mogul, Shirley. Page, Thay Paw, Legend Rosenberger, Dorothy Sanger, Carmen Schott, Mike and Linda Sears, Marvin Simonson, George William Steininger, Arthur Stump, Jack Sweet, Jim and Barb Verhule, Patty Varnum, Larry Vavruch, Joe Wilson, and Chris Wing. Thank you all for attending today. I invite everyone to join us in the lodge for a reception and breakfast. 
um, and conversation at your tables. When you're done, um, the centerpieces on the tables are yours to take as a, as a token of appreciation for joining us today. Thank you all so much.